Hey hikers, it's Lona. This is the Chesapeake in Ohio Canal Towpath. Note to self, the Appalachian Trail does not go through Delaware. This is Maryland. Well, here we are again. <laughs> I'm in Delaware now, so I can start a new video. Anyway, there's some kayakers down there. Um, a politician who's also an Appalachian Trail hiker uh, kind of got this saved. They were going to make this a road, a street. And uh, he organized a hike for, as a protest. And that's what saved this canal, towpath. So that's why we have it to walk on. I think we go on it a couple miles or so. This stretch is super flat. There's some stealth camping spots. Just be careful where the trail takes a left back into the woods. Your visit in town is always great, but then you got to go back up the mountain. This is Weaverton Cliff with a nice view back to where we came from. Pretty neat. I heard the trains all night. A little light rain, so it was a nice night. Yeah, this next section is maintained by the Potomac Appalachian Trail Club. Here's a cool little memorial. Oh yeah, the Edward B. Garvey Shelter. This is more like a clubhouse. There's a little stairway to the loft up there. Pretty neat. All three hikers walk by this giant memorial. You won't believe how big it is. It's right on the trail. There's another little walk path right around there with some really interesting things and buildings to see. And once again, we're right in the heart of Civil War country. This is Wise Field. Now, both these generals lived in Virginia but fought for different sides and died on the same night. Uh, General Reno is the namesake of Reno, Nevada. Yeah, this is near South Mountain, also where I had my first ghost encounter. The AT through this section is several state parks and the inn strung together. Here's the Washington Monument, the first Washington Monument. Neat view from the top. It's been restored. At one point it was just a pile of rubble. The CCC restored it. Cool stairway inside. It's uh, about 20 degrees cooler in there. This is going over a highway overpass. From Cary, North Carolina. 202. Wow. This is the oldest shelter in Pennsylvania. Most of them were getting pretty elaborate. Well, there's been a lot of people on the trail since, uh, I guess kids get out of school or whatever, and everyone's out here hiking. I met, I met probably, I'm going to say 50 people today. It's probably more than that. Uh, Boy Scout troops and uh, Golden Girls everywhere. So, I'm not used to that. There's a lot of people. Some days in Virginia, you can hike all day and uh, see two or three people, and that's it. So. But I don't mind, it's fun. I'm glad they're out here. See you later. I'm fascinated with trail lingo. And in the back of the book, there's a very comprehensive list of hiker terms. This is Annapolis Rocks. And while we're watching this awesome rock climber girl do her thing, let me thank Andrea and Ken, the bearded GND hog, hike hunter. Both, both of you guys, thank you for the very nice Amazon reviews. Uh, the ebook's doing great, better than expected. And we're close to Good being number job. one that on awesome. hiking excursions on ebook. So thank you everybody for the for your support and your comments. Uh, check out these cool long longhorns. We weren't in the same pen with these guys, but there's places on the trail where you are. Yeah, Penmore Park was really nice. I got to meet Dennis. He was a shuttle driver. He happened to be sitting there with his grand granddaughter. I got to talk to him for a while. That was nice. All right. I got to get out of Sorry I trolled off there at the end. I was saying I need to find a campsite before it gets dark. It ended up being a very awkward campsite. But I'll leave that for the book. Well, I am fudging a little here. These pictures were mostly in the original series. But I wanted to cap off the halfway. Long story short... 
You have to buy a tub and an additional pint to make a half gallon these days. But everybody does the half gallon challenge, even the Sobos, even in the winter time. I suggest that they call it the Frostbite Challenge. Personally, I finished my tub in 45 minutes, but the green mint was a little too strong. I still got a spoon. Here's some tips. Also, please check out Painted Blazes. Uh, the first edition will be available for another couple weeks. I'll tell you more about that next time. You can find it on Amazon.com or my official website, PaintedBlazes.com. Ebook's only $4.99. Have fun hiking, everybody.